So what are HTML attributes? To understand attributes, take a look at this apple. Can you see its attributes? It has a color attribute. It has a size attribute. And we can change the attribute, for instance, giving it another color or another size. The same is true with HTML tags. We've discussed in our previous videos that HTML tags make up elements, like this one. If we want to change its color or its size, we need to learn how to change their attributes. So let's take a look at the code below and we'll see just how we can add and then change HTML attributes. So let's start out by creating a division. And we're going to show you what that division looks like before and after attributes are used. So here we have the division with hello world. We're going to run that by clicking on this run button. And you'll notice our text is here. But now let's add an attribute. We'll use the style attribute, which is used for inline styling. There's a better way to style attributes, or rather divisions, or really anything on your website, and it's called CSS. But for the sake of illustration, we're going to show you how attributes, in this case the style attribute, can pretty much do the same thing. So we'll give our division a background. And let's type in red. And now we have a background, a red background. Let's give it a height. Let's say it's 100 pixels high. We could even give it a width. We'll give it 50%. So you can see how using the style attribute we're able to set certain values, the background value, the height value, and the width value of our division. What about links? We've all clicked on links. Well, a link is created using an A tag. We can type in link and run it. But notice that if you click a very simple link, it does not go anywhere. What if we add an attribute. The A link uses the href attribute. Now, using the href attribute, we can type out a link. This hyper reference is now pointed towards this location, the Google website. We'll click run. And if we click on this link now, you'll notice it takes us to Google. Now, this is both the case of a division as well as an A tag, but what about something else? Let's take a look at images now. An image tag is just this simple. It's just IMG for image, but without the source attribute, well, we can't really see an image. Why not? Because an image tag needs to know where the image lives. And so it uses the source tag. In other words, where does this thing come from? What's its source attribute in order to show the image? Now we have a Google image search of horses here. And I have an image of a horse. So we're going to click on this right click the image and you'll have this menu of different options. Well, click on the copy image address. Now let's go back and we're going to paste that image address right here. Command control V depending on your operating system. And so here we have image source. The attribute is equal to this address. If we run it, we get the horse. And we can manipulate the image tag even further by typing in a width attribute. 
Let's say we want the image of the horse to be 50%. It is now 50% of the total space that this container right here, this see it container, allows. And let's see if we want to give it a border, for instance. We could say border equals one pixel. And here we have the one pixel border. We could say 10 pixels. Now we have a 10 pixel border. So as you can see, divisions, links, uh, images are all uh, made valuable by adding the appropriate attribute. And so this is the power of HTML attributes. And if you want to learn more about HTML attributes, you can visit our website and visit this specific course, burntolearn.com forward slash HTML. Thanks for watching.